Welcome to this week's episode of Business Solutions where we provide solutions on formed lifestyles and today we are live on location following up with a traveling optician but before then if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe, like and share and if you've been around Karin Busana, the traveling optician, where are we today? So today we are somewhere in Lovington Yes. doing a retreat. So this is my client and these are called sister locks. Okay. Sister locks is a unique way of locking hair which is should be stress free. Mm -hmm. So uh, sister locks has pros and cons mm -hmm. and the beauty of sister locks is the freedom that you get once you get sister locks. Okay. Uh, for instance, you don't have to comb your hair every other day. Yeah. You don't have to oil your hair. Mm -hmm. It's actually not a need, it's more of a want. Okay. Funny enough, you also have brother locks. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So brother locks are like more so my size of locks because mine are slightly bigger. Mm -hmm. But sister locks are the size. Sister, sister locks comes in three different sizes. We have the very small ones. Okay. We have medium, and then we have the large. Mm -hmm. So uh, before you get your installation, you get a consultation. Okay. And through the consultation, mm -hmm. that's when you well, that's when your loctician advises you and you can get to know what fits you. A uh, funny story. Mm -hmm. So I am a trained teacher. Okay. And like a uh, primary school or lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to teach um, high school English okay. literature. Okay. And then COVID happened. Mm -hmm. So with COVID we decided to change careers or basically just get to know or rather get a different skill mm -hmm. because talent young is so hidden to okay. join discover mm -hmm. <laughs> so i decided let me go and get this skill so the first time i applied for the training okay. was in 2020 like no in 2018 mm -hmm. and then i could not go for the training because that was when i was doing my uh, my teaching practice okay and then later on 2020 and said that uh, you know what let me just go and get trained so after um, uh, after I trained we had lockdown okay so you're no longer teaching you're just there having your skill and you really don't know what to do with this because you also don't know if Mtarudi uh, Kazi because salons were closed as yeah, well yeah and then my mom being the sweetest mom decided that I could use her head as a dummy this is straight from a dummy to now a human being yeah. so she had traditional locks before traditional locks is what people call dreadlocks Good, okay but there's nothing dreadful about our hair so mm -hmm. we go by traditional locks uh, so after installing my mom's mm -hmm. hair like after a lockdown kind of a job worked at a certain salon for a while okay. and then later on my time there was uh it was time for me to leave mm -hmm. And then I decided, you know what, I can as well get to travel because I love traveling mm -hmm. as I make uh, people feel good about their hair, mm -hmm. as I get to interact with them more. So uh, with sister locks, there is something called grid. So you just don't uh, do your hair. Like uh, if you look at this mm -hmm. particular client, okay. uh, from the back, mm -hmm. you should see straight lines across. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And also just having a very clean lock because okay. of you not you're not using product. Okay. That means that uh, you really have build up. Okay. That means um, you you're getting very clean locks mm -hmm. and it's more feminine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. First of all, a client gets a consultation. I highly recommend consultation mm -hmm. because they are um, they take like 30 to 45 minutes of your time, mm -hmm. and they are so detailed. So after the consultation, you get to know: Do I really want sister locks? Because it's more of a permanent hairstyle. Mm -hmm. You can always undo when ready, mm -hmm. but it's expensive to undo and also takes a lot of time. Plus, you also lose some hair because uh, with the beauty about locks is that you don't lose hair. 
every single strand of your hair is there not unless you color your hair and then it starts falling off kidogo okay. kidogo mm -hmm. but generally you don't lose hair mm -hmm. so for people who have less volume they get more volume after installing locks mm -hmm. and then um washing is quite easy the only thing you need to do is like a uh, shampoo and then finger comb because after after insulation mm -hmm. you now replace uh, combing with finger comb so you just run your fingers through uh, so during the consultation there are so many things we look at okay. we look at the volume we look at the texture is it texturized or is it natural because um, if it's texturized over time all the part that was texturized falls off. Okay, what do you mean by texturized? Our guy is listening. <laughs> so texturized me yes. um kwa lugha raisi watu wa make a chemical kwa nywele. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So that part falls off later on and um something about this locks you charge according to the length that you have. Okay. So you need to have 3 inches of, of uh, natural hair mm -hmm. before you can get sister locks. Okay. So like uh for her case, okay. like this length is good for sister locks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So assuming that this part was texturized, mm -hmm. she would have been charged more just because it of the all, length. Okay, um, okay. But one thing is for sure that this part will the fall off. Yeah. So you allow the client to know that and then they can decide do they want to trim this part or do they want length because there are, there are clients who are like stucky who struggle and that spiky face because mm -hmm. if you have very coarse hair, once you install it are quite spiky. And if it's fine, then it will just follow. Okay, so we, we with volume you can install any type okay. of volume, okay. whether ni kidogo, medium, or nyingi. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, um, w there is something called locking patterns. So we have different locking patterns for different types of hair, for okay. different textures. Mm -hmm. So once I get to assess uh, the the volume of the client and the texture, mm -hmm. you recommend a looking pattern for them. Okay. Yes. Okay. I hear you. So every four to eight weeks, okay. depending and uh, de depending with how fast your hair grows, okay. you get to know when to get your next retie. Uh, so the good thing is finding a loctician who understands like who, who is knowledgeable about sister locks like the traveling loctician <laughs> <laughs> so when you look at hair yes. it will grow okay um so before before i answer your question mm -hmm. there is the, the installation part of sister locks is quite unique okay so unlike other braiding techniques where you start from the roots okay. all the way to the tips mm -hmm. with sister locks mm -hmm. you start from the tips going towards oh, the wow. roots okay, that's how okay, the installation okay, is okay, done okay. and over time because uh, it's hair it grows and then the new hair growth mm -hmm. needs to be retightened okay. and this is between four to eight weeks okay. uh, for the first couple of months the first phase that's um, like six months mm -hmm. you can do it every four weeks every five weeks every six weeks depending with how fast your hair grows but okay. a minimum of four weeks and a maximum of six weeks So sister locks is trademarked. Okay. So if you go against the size, if you go against the the uh, the grade, mm -hmm. then that's not sister locks. Uh, so we have uh, three different sizes: okay. the very small ones, the medium, and the large size. Okay. So. Um, most people get to get the medium which is also called the standard size okay. but um, according to one's volume mm -hmm. we then get to recommend if they are going to get the small mm -hmm. or the large okay uh, for people who get the small size of sister locks these are people with less volume, less volume yes, so yes. that it can give them the illusion that they have volume okay it doesn't yeah. increase volume mm -hmm. it just gives them the illusion that they have because volume. they are tiny and they are plenty yes okay Okay. And then uh, for people who don't live in the country, because I have clients who don't live in Kenya, mm -hmm. so for such clients, in most cases, you'll find that in the countries they live in, okay. they are charged according to the number of locks they have. Mm -hmm. So, so no, was it charged you a because again, economy. Not everyone knows the number of locks that they have, okay. but if a client requests, 
you get to count them on the day of, of installation. Of installation okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the large size of sister locks mm -hmm. is not like extremely large. Okay. So there is a size you don't go beyond. Okay. The size of a sister looks not determined by what you can see here, okay. but by the tiny box on the road. Oh wow! Yeah. So for for somebody who has like a lot of volume, mm -hmm. this car size down here would look like it's a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the same size, So it's just it's, it's default that yes. you get to know if this is a small or size. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the bigger size of sister locks is majorly done for people who uh, don't live in the country or the, 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 the lunch Yes. Okay. Kwa sababu, you don't want them to be overcharged because they have a lot of locks. Okay. Also for people who do self retites because mm -hmm. you might get a client who might not be in a position to do their retites every other time mm -hmm. and you need to teach them how to self retite and because who doesn't want to look good? Yeah, yeah. On the day of retightening, you wash your hair because we love working on clean hair. Okay, okay. And so the client washes for themselves or you can... Oh, hey, that can okay. work. Okay. So, so what do you use in washing? Just so you can show shampoo like or panga, normal soap. What do you use in washing? <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, specific shampoos for sister locks. Oh, okay. So shampoos are divided into two. Mm -hmm. We have clarifying shampoos and moisturizing shampoos. Okay. Okay. Maybe you can differentiate that. Yeah, so clarifying shampoo. Uh, tends to strip off the moisture from your hair, mm -hmm. the conditioners and the treatment, mm -hmm. uh, leaving your hair in its most natural form. Okay. So we use that for the first couple of months or even a year depending on your texture okay. to ensure a smooth transition uh, from. To, from open hair mm -hmm. to locking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then once it locks, you can now transition to the moisturizing shampoo. So it just keeps your hair moisturized? Yeah. Okay, and then now you wash uh, is it just the same day that the, the lactation is coming to uh, the research or you can do maybe a day or two? Just plan? just like your body, mm -hmm. your hair needs to be washed like every other in any time. Okay, do you mean then those who still not wash their hair every single morning? You can do that okay. if you work out, but of course not highly recommendable. Okay. What you do is ensure that um, especially if, so in a, in a depend mm -hmm. the first couple of uh, if you install today mm -hmm. you you might need to do your retired in four weeks and that has been this week's episode of business solutions so following up with the traveling optician next week he's in the course if you are from then you need to install the sister docs you cannot miss this hit her up on a facebook page on an instagram page you can dm her and she will let you know how you can find her Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it around and we'll be happy to see you next weekend or rather next week when you're talking about any other business as they provide solutions to their clients. My name is Kingsley Luoko, until next time.